Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to dive into. Magnetization Dynamics and the Landau-Lifshitz-Gilbert Equation. In this video, we'll explore how this equation governs the magnetization dynamics and its crucial role in magnetization switching. A topic of immense importance for technology. This video sets the stage for our upcoming discussion on various current-induced magnetization switching mechanisms, such as the spin transfer torque and spin orbit torque. Let's get started. The Landau-Lifshitz-Gilbert Equation, or LLG equation for short, is a fundamental equation in the field of magnetism that describes the dynamics of magnetization in magnetic materials. It combines the principles of classical mechanics and quantum mechanics to provide insights into the behavior of magnetic systems. The full LLG equation is explicitly written here for a single magnetic moment, whose unit vector is m and with magnitude ms which stands for the saturation magnetization when describing the total magnetization of a ferromagnetic material. The total rate of change of the magnetic moment, the left-hand side of the equation, is fully controlled by the total torque acting on it, the right-hand side of the equation. Recall that torque can be defined as the rate of change of angular momentum. Thus, torque is analogous to force, just like angular momentum is to linear momentum. At its core, the right-hand side of the equation consists of two main components the conservative torque and the dissipative torque. The conservative torque arises from the interaction between the magnetization and a conservative field, such as an external magnetic field. More about this conservative field later. This term tends to align the magnetization with the field and is responsible for the precession of the magnetic moments around the effective field. On the other hand, the dissipative torque accounts for energy dissipation and represents the effects of damping in the system. It introduces a damping parameter, alpha, known as the Gilbert damping coefficient, which characterizes the rate at which energy is lost as the magnetization evolves over time. This dissipative torque ensures that the magnetization eventually reaches a stable state, aligning with the effective field. In summary, the Landau-Lifshitz-Gilbert equation captures the interplay between the conservative torque, which aligns the magnetization with the external field, and the dissipative torque, which accounts for energy dissipation and the attainment of a stable magnetization state. This equation is essential in understanding the dynamics of magnetization and has wide-ranging applications in areas such as spintronics, magnetic recording, and magnetic resonance imaging. Let's begin with the simplest version of the LLG equation, which includes only the conservative torque due to an effective field, H effective, as shown here. Because such effective field is conservative, it can be written as the gradient of an energy scalar field. Hence, if one knows that the energy of the moment, E, changes with its orientation in space, M, the effective field going in the LLG equation can be explicitly calculated. As an example, we compute the effective field due to an applied constant magnetic field. The energy dependence on the direction of a magnetic moment immersed in an external magnetic field, H external, is well known from basic magnetism. It is simply proportional to the dot product between the total magnetization and the external magnetic field, as explicitly shown here. For illustration, we plot the energy landscape of a moment in a constant magnetic field as a function of the relative angle between them. Assuming that the magnetic field points towards the positive z direction, the energy depends solely on the polar angle, theta, between m and the field, as shown in the inset. Therefore, the energy landscape is the negative of a cosine function, with a minimum at theta equals zero and a maximum at theta equals pi. That is, Energy minimum occurs when the magnetic moment points along the field direction and the energy maximum occurs when the magnetic moment is opposite to the field. A direct calculation of the effective field derived from this energy landscape tells us that it is precisely the same external magnetic field, H external. Here, we see that the conservative field has the property that its potential energy is uniquely defined by the polar angle the magnetic moment makes with respect to the external field. Thus, a conservative field has a well-defined potential energy landscape with respect to an internal degree of freedom, 
the magnetic moment in this case. Now, let's investigate the magnetization dynamics of a magnetic moment immersed in a constant magnetic field along Z. The time evolution of the magnet moment under a constant field strength of 100,000 amps per meter is shown here. The initial magnetization position is at 20 degrees off of the Z axis. As can be seen, the magnetization precesses around the magnetic field direction. The fact that the angle between magnetic moment and field does not change during the time evolution is a consequence of the conservative nature of the field. That is, because the field conserves energy and the energy depends on the relative angle between moment and field, the angle cannot change over time. Another important feature of dynamics seen here is the precessional frequency. This quantity is set by the magnitude of the external field. To see this, we run a second simulation with a stronger external field, and the precession frequency increases proportionally. Thus, the conservative field causes magnetization precession whose frequency depends on its magnitude. This is also called the Larmor frequency and is given by the product of gamma and the magnitude of the H effective. Let's now study the effect of the dissipative torque on the magnetization dynamics. Now, the LLG equation assumes at full form. The rate at which energy is lost as the magnetization evolves over time is quantified by the Gilbert damping parameter, alpha. The Gilbert damping arises from the interaction between the magnetization of a magnetic material and its surrounding environment. It can be understood in terms of the exchange of angular momentum between the magnetization and other degrees of freedom in the material, such as lattice vibrations. Let's see the effects of Gilbert damping on the dynamics of our single magnetic moment subjected to an external field. For comparison purpose, we have side by side the case with and without damping. When damping is zero, we have the regular magnetic moment precession we saw previously. When a finite damping constant is introduced, we observe that the magnetic moment eventually align with the external magnetic field after a finite precession cycle, as shown in the right simulation. This is precisely how energy loss, or dissipation, is expected to impact the dynamics. In our toy model, the energy is related to the angle between the magnetic moment and external field, thus energy dissipation would entail an angular variation with time. In addition, we saw that the configuration with minimum energy is when the magnetization is aligned with the field. Hence, magnetic energy loss to the environment would decrease the angle between the moment and the external field direction. This is precisely what the simulation to the right is showing. The interplay between conservative and dissipative torques govern the magnetization dynamics in real material systems. Understanding and controlling these torques to cause magnetization reversal, or switching, are crucial for technological applications, such as spintronics and magnetic data storage. Switching of magnetization via torques are particularly important for MRAMs. The MRAM shown above consists of an array of MTJs distributed at the intersection points of bit lines and word lines. Writing binary information in MRAMs requires the ability to controllably switching between the high-resistance anti-parallel MTJ configuration and the low-resistance parallel MTJ configurations as shown. One way to induce switching of a particular MTJ in the MRAM array is through the application of a strong enough local magnetic field. Here, writing currents are applied to the specific bit line and word line whose intersection point coincides with the location of the MTJ device one wants to switch. Then, the local ERSTED field generated by the currents produce a torque on the magnetization of the free layer of the MTJ and switching might take place if the ERSTED field is strong enough. A detailed schematic is shown to the right. Motivated by this important concept, we now analyze switching of a magnetization due to an external magnetic field. Before we dive into the switching dynamics in magnetic materials, we need to add another important torque component that is always present in magnetic materials, the conservative torque arising from magnetic anisotropy, or, the anisotropy torque. Magnetic anisotropy refers to the directional dependence of a magnetic material's properties, specifically its magnetization in response to an external magnetic field. 
In other words, it describes the preferred directions of magnetization within the material. Magnetic anisotropy arises due to various factors, including crystal structure, shape, and the presence of impurities or defects in the material. These factors can influence the energy associated with different orientations of the magnetization. As an example, we show here the magnetic field of a typical bar magnet at the left panel and the corresponding magnetization at the right panel. Because of the shape of the bar magnet, an internal demagnetizing field tends to align all magnetic moments along the main axis of the bar magnet, as shown in the right figure. Hence, the demagnetizing field gives rise to a preferential direction to the magnetization. This preferential direction corresponds to the energy minimum, and any deviations from it will increase the total energy of the magnetization. First, we recall that the torque due to an external field is always unidirectional. As shown here, it always seeks to drive the magnetization towards the theta equal to zero, where the magnetization, m, is aligned with the external field. On the other hand, the torque due to crystalline magnetic anisotropy is uniaxial. This means that the energy of a magnetic moment subjected to an uniaxial torque increases when the magnetization is driven away from the anisotropy axis. In this case, there are at least two minimum energy configurations. The magnetization could relax towards directions that is collinear to the uniaxial axis. This is shown in the right figure, where the energy minimum corresponds to theta equals zero and theta equals pi. In order to grasp the difference between unidirectional and uniaxial torques, we show the associated magnetization dynamics. We start with our familiar dynamics for a unidirectional field example. The white and black circles in the energy landscape represent the initial and final angular orientation of the magnetic moment, respectively, and the arrow represents the path between these configurations. The magnetization dynamics is shown to the right. The relaxation of the magnetization precession towards the field direction due to damping is associated with a particular energy landscape shown to the left. The white circle, at higher energy, flows to the black circle position at the energy minimum due to energy dissipation. Notice that it doesn't matter where we position the white circle, it will always flow to the energy minimum at theta equals zero due to the particular shape of the energy landscape. For example, we could have started at theta closer to pi, as is shown here. Because there is a single energy minimum at the positive z direction, the magnetization will always relax towards it over time. Hence, the field is said to be unidirectional. The situation differs radically in the case of an uniaxial field, such as the one due to magnetic crystalline anisotropy in magnetic materials. Now, we have two energy minima along an axis, as shown in the energy landscape. If the initial angle is closer to theta equals zero, the magnetization can only relax towards the positive z direction. Relaxation towards the second minimum at the minus z direction, or theta equals pi, would entail overcoming the energy barrier. However, the magnetic moment never gains energy, it only loses energy due to damping. The magnetization dynamics associated with the energy relaxation is shown on the right. But if the initial angle is closer to theta equal pi, the magnetization will relax towards the minus z direction, as shown to the right. Thus, there are two energetically preferred state which lies along the same axis. For this reason, the crystalline anisotropy torque is said to be uniaxial. When the magnetization is at one of the energy minima, we say we have a metastable state. Now, we are ready to investigate the magnetization reversal induced by an external magnetic field on a magnetic material with crystalline magnetic anisotropy. The interplay between these two types of conservative fields is of extreme importance for the analysis that follows. The full LLG equation including external field, Magnetic anisotropy and Gilbert damping is highlighted. The main parameters related to our magnetic material are also written here. 
The idea here is that we start with a magnetic moment whose direction is initially close to the minus Z direction and we want to switch it to the plus Z direction with the help of an external field. That is, we want to utilize the external magnetic field to toggle between the two metastable stable magnetization states. Let's see how this takes place. We begin at zero external magnetic field. The magnetization starts close to the metastable state with theta equals pi. That is, close to the minus z direction. Next, we progressively increase the external field and see how it switches the magnetization to the second metastable states at theta equals zero. That is, at the positive z direction. With a finite external field, the energy landscape for our problem has now contributions from external field as well as from the anisotropy field. It still has two energy minima due to the uniaxial anisotropy, but the presence of the unidirectional external field modifies their energies. In the figure above, we see that the energy minimum at theta equals pi, or negative z, has slightly higher energy than the energy minimum at theta equals zero, or positive z. This is because the unidirectional external field raised the energy of the magnetic moment at the minus z direction but lower the energy for the positive z. Note, however, that the magnetization hasn't switched to the plus z direction in this case. We conclude that the external field here is not sufficiently strong to cause switching. By increasing the magnitude of the external field above a critical value, the energy landscape displays a single minimum. In this case, the magnetization will relax towards it and switch to the positive z direction as shown in the simulation. Hence, the external field destabilizes the metastable magnetization states and forces the magnetization towards the direction of the external field. Now, if the external field is turned off, the energy landscape due to the anisotropy field only is restored. Hence, the magnetization will be trapped at the plus z direction since it is one of the anisotropy energy minima. Thus, switching from the minus z direction to the plus z direction has taken place. Magnetization switching is vital to spintronics. By manipulating the magnetization direction in magnetic layers, spintronics enables the development of efficient and low-power electronic devices like magnetic memories, spin logic circuits, and magnetic sensors. Advancements in understanding and controlling magnetization switching have paved the way for innovative technologies with improved performance, efficiency, and reliability. To wrap up, it is worth emphasizing that other sources of torques might contribute to the dynamics of magnetic moments. The other torques can be added to the right-hand side of the LLG equation and the magnetization dynamics can be explored in the same context of our discussion. Novel kinds of spin torques arising from quantum mechanical effects are especially important for technological applications. These kinds of torques, referred to as current-induced torques, induce much more efficient switching of the magnetization, for example. In the next videos, we are going to explore novel ways of inducing magnetization switching that don't rely on external magnetic field. Stay tuned, and subscribe, so you will be notified of our future episodes.